Hello amigos, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for J1 visa and American culture. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you'll always be notified whenever we upload new jam pack videos. And without further ado, let's now jump into the video. <laughs> We're going to be talking about all the different ways on how you can send money from here in the United States straight to your home country to your family and friends. So in this video, I'm going to share you my thoughts on why I highly recommend this app, how you will like it, what are the required documents for you to send money, and also how much is the transaction fee in every app or every brand that you will use, what are the differences you know, among them. So before we dive into the video, we have an important shout out to do. <laughs> Now, if you are wondering how you can be featured in the next video, well, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also take a screenshot of this video and post it into your Instagram story but don't forget to tag me at realworldwide.co so I can see your post. So without further ado, let's now jump into the video. Okay, first on the list is TransferWise. Why do I love TransferWise? Well, it is because that most of the time, every time I use it, it gives me the highest conversion rate. So why did I use the word most of the time? Because just to be transparent, guys, TransferWise gives you really a good conversion rate, but it's not always because there's one time that, you know, because I was comparing different rates and it gives me the second to the highest conversion, you know, so it's not always a promise that every day it will be the highest conversion rate, but most of the time you will get the highest conversion rate or the highest uh, value that you can get from your money. So just a pro tip guys that if you are sending money and it's not really urgent and you really want to get the most value of your money, you can you know uh, use or pull up your different apps and compare the conversion rate because before you send the money you can always see how much the receiver or how much the your family can receive in your currency so if you are someone that values like for example that's extra five dollars then do it but if you're a busy person I don't highly suggest this because it's kind of like time consuming but not really but if you just want to do it it's like whatever <laughs> So now let's move on what are the required documents that TransferWise will ask you before you can send money. So they will ask for your photo ID and the proof of address and bank statement. So for photo ID, you can use your passport or if you have a driver's license or a state ID, you can use that. And for proof of address, if you have utility bills, you can present that to them. But if it is you know if you are new here in the united states and you don't have like still a phone bill or like any utility bills that is coming to your address under your name then you can use your bank statement as a proof of address so you can just present you know just to cut the store shirt you can just present passport and bank statement in the application they will ask you to like you know uh, send them the details so they can process and see if you are qualified or not so every money remittance has a transaction fee so for transfer wise they have a different transaction fees it depends on what method you are using for payment so what method of payment do you want to use do you want to pay via credit card do you want to pay via debit card or do you want to pay via ACH or direct debit so why is this important for you to know because every method of payment has a different transaction fees and also different business days when or how long your receiver will receive the money so if you go for ACH or direct debit of course that is the cheapest way to send your money but also the longest time that your receiver can receive the money so usually it may take from one to four business days or if you want your receiver to receive it faster or if it's like emergency then you can use your debit card your receiver can receive the money as fast as 30 minutes and the transaction fee from debit card versus direct debit or ACH is not really that much. I would say it's more of like $2 difference so it won't really break the bank, you know. So you might be wondering, well Rio, I'm ready to send the money to my receiver. What are the details that I need from them in order for me to send them money? Well, all you have to do is know what bank they are using, their account number, their full name, their address, and their phone number. See, it's so easy. You just have to know all the details that 
you will need and spare some five minutes into the app in order for you to you know uh, enter all of the information and that's it the app is very friendly you know it is very user friendly I hide that's why that's the reason why I highly recommend it and also the good conversion rate but you know all the drill guys you know you discover it for yourself because it is really good and just a disclaimer guys it may sound that this is a sponsored video but it's not I just truly love their services and you know their conversion rate and I truly believe in that app and I think it's legit that's why I can recommend them to you even my eyes are closed because I really love them so much so you might be wondering for a transfer wise when you send the money in dollars are your receivers is going to receive it also in dollars well if their bank is in dollars currency then yes they will receive it in dollars but if it's in peso or any currency it will automatically convert so how much the conversion rate well it depends what is the conversion rate during that time because remember that the exchange rate always change from time to time so for our next recommendation I highly recommend also using PayPal yes you can use PayPal even you are not in the United States it is all over the world especially in the Philippines if you are not familiar using PayPal in the Philippines it is available in our country so you guys can use it so what's the difference between the transfer wise and PayPal the receiver doesn't need the transfer wise app in order to receive the money they just need to have a bank account because you know it will be like a direct deposit so you might like PayPal if you are already using the PayPal because you already know how it works but if you haven't tried PayPal and the receiver doesn't know how to use PayPal then I would highly recommend to use the TransferWise app instead but there's another but if you already know how to use PayPal and the receiver has a PayPal account all you have to do is just get their email address that's it you know you don't need their account number you don't need any of their account information or bank information because all you have to do is get their email and it will be transferred safely and with protection so here's the complete instruction on how you can send money through PayPal you can pause this slide if you needed more time so as you can see at the bottom of this slide you can see the customer service number of PayPal so if you have any more questions you can call them directly or if you are confused on how you can use PayPal if the other person doesn't have any account so you can just easily call them so they can explain it properly and by the way guys when you send money Money using PayPal to your friends or your family use the option family and friends so you won't or so they won't be charged a transaction fee okay so why is this important because when you send money to your family as goods and services you will have to pay or they will have to pay a 4.4 transaction fee and 30 cents on top of that but if you use family and friends, you don't have to pay any transaction fee except for 30 cents on top of your uh, money. So for example, you are sending $100, PayPal will charge you $100 and 30 cents. So you might be asking, are they going to receive in dollars or in peso? Well, it depends how they want to set up their account. For example, when the receiver set up their PayPal account, if it's in US dollars, then they will receive it in US dollars. If it's in peso, then they will receive it in peso. So next that I highly recommend is the Western Union app. So I don't recommend the one that where you will go to the store and you know do all the transactions. It is because I didn't have a good experience. Like for example, you search in your uh, place that there's a Western Union near you and it is located inside the CVS. So there is no designated agent that just knows Western Union and will assist you step by step in the process. The only person that will assist you through there is a, a cashier in CVS which is not you know very knowledgeable enough to do that and they will just assist you like okay there's a phone number that you will call blah 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 and all that stuff and it's just a mess guys I didn't really enjoy that experience that's why when I knew and when I learned that there is a Western Union app I'm like oh my god this is a game changer you know so when you use the Western Union app for sending money in your home country the receiver has an option they can either one a habit in direct deposit you know they will just see it in their bank or if the receiver preferred on picking the money in you know in a certain location then you can do that also as well inside the application so how to use this Western Union app well all you have to do is first download the app either in Play Store or in Google Play second is create an account using you know in the Western Union app 
And third is get the information of your receiver. You need the name of the receiver, their full name, what uh, name it reflects to their ID. Is that correct? For example, like me, I have a very long name. That's why, you, uh, you know, if the receiver has a very long name or if the sender has a very long name, you need to make sure that all of the information are correct because it might get or it might give you a problem. So here is the complete instruction for sending money through the Western Union app. This is where your receiver will receive the money through their bank account. At the bottom, as you can see, I included the customer service of Western Union. So if you have more questions, you can just easily call them. This second slide is the complete instruction on how your receiver can receive your money through cash. So this is where they will go to a store and pick up the money. And this is the instruction when you are paying using your credit card or your debit card. So on this third slide, here's the complete instruction of what you will do when you are sending money to your receiver through a pickup location so it's kind of the same with the second one with the second slide but the only difference is that you are paying with your bank account here so when you pay with your bank account it is cheaper but you have to link your bank details so here's the full instruction where you can follow and if you have more questions again you can use the customer service number below so you might ask me well, Rio, how much is the fee to send money using a Western Union? Well, it also depends on your methods of payment. Just like the transfer-wise, it always depends on your method of payment. Do you want to use the ACH or the direct deposit debit? Or second is the debit card and third is the credit card. So either or and also depends on if you want to, you know, pick it up at the store or do you want to do it direct deposit so those are the factors that you need to consider also in the western union app you can see how long or how fast the receiver can receive your money so there are options if you want it faster of course there's a little bit more fees for that but if you know you don't care if or if it's not like really a rush or emergency then maybe your receiver can wait for two more days in order to receive the money right so it just depends on your needs and how do you want to use it so you might be wondering well Rio, would you recommend for me to transfer directly from my bank and wire money to my parents bank account well you can do it it will cost you $45 well specifically if you are using the Bank of America I'm not really sure because every bank is a different you know transaction fee but if you use Bank of America uh, and wire a money to your family overseas it will cost you $45 and for me that is kind of a lot compared to transfer wise or using PayPal or using Western Union app so if you're on a budget or money conscious then I highly recommend to use those three banks but if you want it to be convenient you know no hassle then you can just use your bank account to wire money to your family so for more information guys please check the description box below because I will try to link everything so you can just click it and it will direct you to the app I will try to find a way I'm not promising but you know just check the description box below and there will be more information about the apps or the you know the brands that I just mentioned so guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you still have any questions and I will be happy to assist you please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you'll always be notified whenever I upload new jump pack videos so before we end this video please don't forget to click these two videos right here I make a lot of J1 videos in American culture that is for sure will help you all throughout your journey so don't forget to click these two videos right here and I'll see you on my next one thank you so much bye for now